Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. We're just going to hop right into it today. Um, this will be a weekly reading for... I never remember to check the calendar. December 11th through... The 18th. Going by the elements today. We'll start out with fire because it's Sagittarius season. You're not sure where all your placements fall. As far as the elements go, it'll be in the description box below with the timestamps. I've already invoked the card, so we can just go ahead and get started. Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Three of Cups. Well, it is a season for celebration. Gaiety, people gathering, getting together. The challenge here is you have some unprocessed emotions, possibly some unprocessed heartache. Upcoming events, Temperance, the Six of Swords, and the King of Wands. We'll get clarity on that in a minute. I'm not even going to do first blush. Why is it happening? Six of Pentacles, Judgment Reversed, and the Devil. Oh, that can't be good. Might be a Capricorn you're dealing with. I also have Sagittarius on the board. And a little bit of everybody at this point. It's the outcome make or break communication someone coming forward with a cup make or break is the ace of cups so the willingness to uh, there's conflict five of wands at the bottom of the deck could be between two parties could be internal Get some clarity for fire. That feels about right. Oh, who decided they wanted to pop out? Eight of Pentacles reversed. I'm going to go ahead and leave it. Possibly some of you are not putting effort into a situation. You're done putting effort into a situation. Could be the other party. I don't know. We're going to leave it on the board, though. Talk to me about temperance reversed. <sighs> Possible lack of patience in a situation. Things not coming together. The fool. Possibly some of you will grow impatient and go off and start something new or try to. Moving into the Six of Swords. Seven of Wands reversed. Let's 
kind of hard to move forward when you're still battling your inner, inner demons. One more on the Seven of Wands. Three of Cups reversed. One on the King of Wands. A lot of fire energy here. Three of Pentacles. There's the devil. Not seeing that as toxic. I'm not feeling toxicity off of that. I'm feeling binding. Could be some strong sexual connections. Why is it happening? Talk to me about the Six of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Trying to be balanced, equal give and take. Someone's holding, was holding back emotions, possibly. Holding back, holding back. Page of Pentacles reversed, unable to give. Talk to me about judgment reversed. Talk to me about judgment reversed. Star reversed, somebody hadn't healed. Something was buried. <sighs> Declared dead because of lack of healing. Pause while that's ringing. Hold on. I'm not answering my phone today. One on the devil, please. Why is the devil here? Priestess reversed. <sighs> Wounded ego. There's a lot. I'm not reeling that devil is toxic. I feel like somebody's ego is wounded. And Somebody just wanted to be noticed. Strong pull could be obsessive behavior. Talk to me about the shadow side up here. Oh, okay. Getting over that obsessive behavior. Somebody you might decide to go after what you want elsewhere, build new foundations and get over this obsessive toxic behavior. Stop putting energy into something, possibly resolving an inner conflict. Talk to me about this Knight of Cups down here is the outcome. It's the Knight of Cups, Seven of Swords. By the Seven of Swords, Six of Cups. Seven of Swords, I mean, it's not always 
big dumb jerk face. <laughs> I mean, it can be, but I'm not seeing it as big dumb jerk face. I, I see it as a return. May not be the purest of intentions. There may still be a little bit of withholding or holding back, but this is a deep connection. Somebody you've played with before. I feel like someone may be returning with a cup. One of the Ace of Cups. Knight of Swords, communication, truth. Could be some confusion. Seven of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Let's get a Crystal Power. One off the top, one off the bottom. Give it a good shuffle first. One off the top, one off... Oh, okay. You decided you wanted to come out. The Hermit. I follow my own path. Once they start flying, that's when you pull. I follow my own path. Some of you may have to do the path of healing before this can come back together. Ten of Pentacles, I celebrate everything I achieve. Eight of Wands, I manifest multiple opportunities. Some of you might have multiple options. Some of you may be communicating with multiple people. Some of you may have to walk the path for that. Okay. Ten of Wands, I love and care for myself first. Releasing of any and all burdens. Love isn't supposed to be burdensome. Okay. Chop wood. Happy, happy. Change in the wind. Building blocks. Forty-two, chop wood. Being grounded in everyday experience, humility. Some of you may need to reground yourselves and look at things from a different perspective. Happy, happy. Joy and contentment, a sense of fulfillment, a feeling that all is well. Change in the wind, number 12. A sense that unseen change has been initiated, preparation for a storm, awareness that your plans are not on firm ground, feeling a shift. Uncertainty about which direction the winds will blow. The winds are going to blow you in the direction where you're supposed to go. Some of you may need to just let go and follow the wind. I understand that it doesn't always go as you planned. We're 28 building blocks. Strong foundations, a beautiful work in progress. Can I take out of that? Fire signs, you are a work in progress. Let's get an Archangel Michael. Your children are being watched over by angels. Okay. Somebody needs to hear this. We'll run with it. Dear guardian angels of my children, born and unborn, 
Thank you for watching over my children and ensuring their happiness and safety. Please guide me so that I know the best ways to be a good parent and role model for my own and other people's children. Somebody needed to hear that, so we'll take it. One off the top. You created the situation and you have the power to change it. Thank you for letting me lean on your strength and reminding me of my personal power. Please guide me to manifest and heal according to divine will, creating peace and blessings for everyone involved. Chop wood, building blocks, one off the bottom. Self-respect. Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see myself as you see me through the eyes of love. Thank you for honoring and respecting me. Please guide me to do the same for myself and grant me the courage to speak up on my own behalf. I ask for your protection in all my relationships so that I am surrounded by loving and kind people. Okay. All right, fire. I'm going to pause, clear the deck, and we're going to move on to earth. All right, what do we got for Earth? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Three of Cups, Nine of Wands. It feels like possibly people trying to reach out, but you're on the offensive about something, maybe. Let's see if they come back out and read. Three of Swords reversed in the Fool. Oh. Well, you're coming out of a state of heartbreak. The challenge is moving on to a new path. Ace of Swords reversed. I don't see the new path working out. I see communication. I see possibly the closing of a gap. Maybe return. Four of Swords. Prince of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Okay. Okay. Gave somebody the axe, huh? I feel like somebody gave somebody the axe. Prince of Pentacles. <sighs> it feels a little too little too late or too slow moving. I don't know. I don't know. Outcome. Outcome. Queen of Wands reversed and strength holding back. Alchemist at the bottom of the deck. The alchemist is in the reverse. This feels like emotional puppet strings. Oh shoot. Somebody is left feeling jaded. Holding back. Strength. There's fire. Oh, there's fire. There's Leo. Cancer. Okay. Leo, Cancer, Aries, the only three majors. <coughs> Ooh. 
Pardon me. All right, let's get a little clarity. One of the Ace of Swords reversed. The Fool. Why on earth would you do that? Why do I feel like somebody's jumping for the sake of jumping, even though it, it, there's an equal give and take and it's not going to lead to... Why would you do that? One on the eight of... One on the eight of... One on the eight of wands. Why on earth would you do that? Stop questioning, just read cards. Temperance. Communication, the blending of two cups. Divine timing. One more. Five of Swords. Seven of Swords. Oh. Feels very humbling. Some of you may receive communication. <sighs> somebody may receive communication from somebody who just screwed with their head. Oh, gosh. Really? <sighs> I feel like it's somebody you couldn't let go of. Possibly. I mean, you tried, but still up in the gallows about it. Maybe they're up in the gallows about you, and that's why they're coming back. Possibly communication. Someone trying to, trying to make you see things from their side. Maybe trying to blend the cups. Why is the chariot reversed here? Ace of Swords over. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Magician. felt too little too late. Weird. Okay. Somebody might come back to try to manifest something, try to stop you from doing this. Trying to stop you from jumping anyway. It's 
stop the manifestation. Okay, 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 I'm tracking. Why the four swords reversed? Queen of swords, yeah. You give somebody the axe. This was a conversation that did not go well. Why the Prince of Pentacles? reversed humbling humbling I was a big dumb jerk please accept this pinnacle even though it took forever to get there One and eight of cups reversed. Nine of swords. They agonized about whether or not to come back. That's why it took so long. A lot of sleepless nights involved for somebody here. I don't know about this outcome. Talk to me about the Queen of Wands reversed from my Earth signs. Lovers, a choice to be made. Somebody's jaded. So, do you jump into the thing that's already not making you happy? Or do you go back to the thing that knows it's screwed up and is trying to humble itself? Five of Wands reversed, Four Swords reversed, The Lovers. I see. You get a choice to make. You're trying to avoid conflict, internal, external, or otherwise. But it's going to charge up a bunch of crap. It's going to make you rethink this. Huh. Why strength? Why strength? Oh. Strength, strength. Strength clarifies strength. Shadow side reversed at the bottom of the deck. Are you going to continue to hold back? Are you going to muster the strength to give whatever that was one last go? You gave it the axe once. But are you going to walk into something that's equally not making you happy? Just for the sake of walking away. Disconnecting from a binding connection. Let's, you know what? Crystal power. Quick shuffle. Quick shuffle. Six of Wands, I am proud of what I achieve and accept my rewards. Standing up and being noticed. Three of Pentacles, when I show my work, others give support. Seven of Cups trust myself to see the truth. There's the one. I trust myself to see the truth. Wisdom Oracle. You're going to find your truth in this situation, Earth Signs. You're going to build your foundations, stand up and be noticed, stand up and be heard. Maybe a conversation needs to take place. Six of Wands is also a card of return. Alright, one off the top. Clean it up. 
one off the bottom. Unfinished Symphony. Oh boy! I love Unfinished Symphony. Talk to me about Clean It Up. Getting to the core of a situation. Freedom from a burden. Cleaning house. Sweeping away. What is no longer needed? Hmm. Maybe there's a mess to clean up. Talk to me about the unfinished symphony. Number 10. And sometimes when we try to clean up a mess, we make an even bigger mess. Huh. Unfinished business, an incomplete lesson, lack of closure, the need to make amends. Possibly you need to make amends in this situation in order to move forward. Mending! Always look at the bottom of the deck. Number 52. Mending. Forgiveness and making amends, healing after arguments. Earth signs, there may be a mess to clean up. All right, let's get an archangel. Spend more time outdoors. Thank you for motivating, motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature. For those of you in the Northern Hemisphere right now, I mean, if you like to ski and stuff, if you're way up in the Northern Hemisphere, it's winter now. Maybe those of you who are in a more comfortable climate, go out, take a walk, sit in the grass, get yourself grounded again. Maybe that's what you need. Take your time making this decision. Archangel Michael, please help me stay strong and relaxed. As I approach this situation, remind me to detach and step back, allowing the situation to naturally unfold. Thank you for protecting me. One off the top. God is in charge. Dear God, please help me let go of this situation, giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. All right, Earth signs, I'm cleaning it up, and we're going to move on to air. Okay, what do we have for our air signs? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. December 11th through the 18th. Jumping off into something new. The challenge is, is this the real deal? Is this going to grow? Okay. Double reversed. Four of swords. Six of swords. Okay. Why? Very nice. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck.
taking a leap of faith. Okay. Well, I see good things here. Let's talk about it. We're going to put the Nine of Wands back. Some of you will be guarded against it for whatever reason. Talk to me about this double reversed. Three of Wands reversed. Sorry, that's the Ten of Wands reversed. Uh, High Priest reversed. Seven of Wands reversed. Two of Swords reversed. Trying to release yourself for something. Something that didn't work out. It's making that choice to release yourself from it. I think it's going to be a bit of a struggle. I see you finally getting there. But you got to get the monkey off your back first, guys. Why the four of swords? Holy mess, holy mess. I'm gonna put those back, try that again. Seven of Cups. Processing the heartbreak, detaching from what you need to detach from, exploring other options, viewing other cups. What's the thing is you at least, at least got one cup coming your way. Temperance. Being patient with the process, allowing things to flow naturally, very nice. Six of Swords, talk to me about the Six of Swords. Ace of Pentacles reversed, Four of Pentacles reversed, finally letting go of the seed that did not grow. I bumped that. All right, when it's happening, because of healing. Allowing ships to come in in self-worth. The fool and the high priestess, yes. Allowing the healing process. Taking the leap of faith. Allowing your intuition to guide you where it's supposed to go. Where you're supposed to go. Why the three of wands? Hmm, the Queen of Pentacles reversed. You gotta wait the process out. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, that was a process, wasn't it? It didn't feel good while it was happening, but the ships came in. It worked on you. It worked on your prosperity. Some of you may have bought a home. Got your crap back together, just allowed it. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Yes, yes. You finally got there, you developed your self worth. Possibly called in a soulmate, the moon. The moon, you allowed the process. You walked the dark path, even though it wasn't lit. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You processed the emotions you needed to process. For the most part. But there's that monkey on your back you just gotta deal with. 
Talk to me about this Page of Cups. Mm. I was afraid of that. The devil. That's an apology in that cup. There's something new coming in. Somebody may try to come back for an apology, something that you're attached to, something you're desperately trying to detach from. I need one more on that. They may just be coming to offer friendship. We were trying to rebuild foundations. You got foundations of your own going on with this four of wands. Possibly from what you called in. What's coming toward you. Talk to me about this four of wands. Six of wands. Declaring victory. After a very long, hard fought battle. Oh, air signs. Two of wands reversed. Don't get stuck at that crossroads again. You've got good things going on right now. Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. you got to move forward. Don't let something impede your path. All right, let's get a crystal power. Ten of Cups. I have all I wish for in my relationships. One off the top. Two of Swords. Whatever I decide, I trust the outcome. One off the bottom. The star, I am inspired and positive about the future. Two of wands, I focus on what I want and make it happen. What do you want? What do you want? Do you want what you worked for? You want that monkey off your back? Get it off your back, baby. Get it off your back, baby. All right. Me a wisdom. Chaos and conflict. Breathe. Time to go. Truth be told. Number 33. Disarray. Being at cross purposes with one another. The tension of opposites, the value of chaos before order. Okay. I think you've already survived the chaos. It may be time to bring things back into order. Breathe. Breathe. The number 29. Patience, waiting, going slowly, wellness, meditation, and trust. you got to trust yourself. Whatever I decide, I trust the outcome. You need to breathe. You've come too far. Time to go, number 45. This is my favorite one. Time to go. Endings, completion, walking away from something because there is nothing else to learn or experience. I think that's telling you to get the monkey off your back. And if it tries to come back to haunt you, keep it off your back. But what do I know? Truth be told, number 14. Honesty, accepting things at face value, coming out of denial, the willingness to be transparent, clarity of communication. The willingness to be transparent. Clarity of communication, accepting things at face value. 
coming out of denial. You've survived the process, air signs. Let's get an Archangel Michael. Oh, hi. God is in charge. Please help me let go of this situation and giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. Honor and trust your feelings. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen and act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. You and your loved ones are safe. Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank me. Thank you for watching over me, my loved ones. Please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthful, happy life. All right, we're going to pause. We're going to clear the deck. We're going to go on to our water signs. All right, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, December 11th through the 18th. Whoa! Three of Wands reverse, Knight of Cups. Walking away from the dock. Off to give somebody else your cup, possibly. Okay. Seven of Wands reversed. And the Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Oh, damn. Something's not growing. Seven of Pentacles reversed to the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Maybe feeling a little bit defeated this week. Challenges regaining your independence. Um... I see the possibility of a connection, but I see you being left out in the cold. Not sure what's up with that. King of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Cups. Decided to fly out. We're putting it back. Okay. Why it's all happening, the ta foundation crumbled, the tower came tumbling down, it may not have been stable to begin with, someone's standing up for themselves, the fire not gun, there's the two of cups again, two of avoidance of conflict with someone, avoidance of conflict and a connection, talk to me about this two of cups coming in. Mm. Somebody holding back. <sighs> I 
why the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Holding back on something new. Concentrating on work. Possibly going back to something that was codependent, maybe? Why the Five of Pentacles? Six of Pentacles. Page of Swords. Communication being ignored. Communication not happening. Dishonest communication. Possibly someone saying things are going to be equal give and take to come in out of the cold, maybe. Why the King of Pentacles reversed here? King of Pentacles upright. One more. Seven of Pentacles reversed. I feel like somebody's setting a record straight here. All right, why the four one? Why the four ones reversed? Okay, I'm tumbling down. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Wands releasing the burden. Maybe we can burden some tower king tum tum tumbling down. Why the Queen of Pentacles? Queen of Pentacles? Queen of Pentacles, really? Really? <sighs> anxiety. Somebody had severe anxiety. Why? Heartbreak. Past heartbreak. Oh, gosh. That'll snuff a match out. Why the Ace of Wands reversed? Avoiding conflict. Avoiding confrontation. Okay. Not taking air <laughs> because the tower's already on the ground. Ten of swords reversed at the bottom of the deck. The sun ain't shining. That's a big black cloud. And possibly somebody left something hanging out there. And that's why this can't move forward. And why the fool reversed for the outcome? The magician. Ace of Wands upright. Could be a restriking of the match. Somebody doesn't want to do something new. Why the Emperor reversed? Ace of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. That's like somebody else taking the wheel. That's that's letting time run its course. Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck in the upright. Defeating some inner demons. The Knight of Cups keeps wanting to fall out. We're just going to lay it on the table. Could be another water sign you're dealing with. They could have water in their chart. Somebody making an offer might be an apology. Okay. Let's get a crystal power. I celebrate everything I achieve. 
Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. I welcome new love and trust what it brings. Bottom of the deck, the world. I celebrate and welcome new energy. Four of Wands. The universe brings all I need to feel blissful. Page of Swords. I take care of the detail and stay in control. Okay. Wisdom Oracle. Peace. Never ending story. All that glitters. Flexible. Number 23. Freedom from attachment. Radical acceptance. Two plus three is five. Five is the number of change. You have to make peace with your past before you can move forward to the present. Never ending story. Three plus seven is ten. Ten is the number of endings and completion. Number 37. Self-criticism, the wounded ego, unnecessary dramas. Mm, feels like some unnecessary drama here. For real. I think something fell apart. <laughs> Needlessly. It was due to past heartache. It was due to the fact that someone couldn't let something go from their past. Possibly both of you. Inner demons, loss of patience not willing to take the time, possibly jumping into something too soon. One plus six is seven. I need to see beyond the superficial, the desire to don a mask and dress something up to disguise its true nature. Trying to be something you're not. Chasing after every sparkly new thing. Being. Mercurial? Sorry, it's a new word. One plus six is seven. Confusion, multiple options. Someone could have been chasing multiple options. One plus nine is ten. Flexible. Yet another ten. Another completion. Maybe it's just time for something to be over. It's up to you guys to decide if this is salvageable or not. Teachability. Open-mindedness. Being adaptable without compromising what's most important. That's tough. Someone needs to be willing to be flexible here, possibly a little bit more patient by the feel of things. All right, let's get an Archangel Michael. Your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Please help me clearly hear, see, feel, and know the divine guidance that I have asked and prayed for. Allow me to keep my ego out of the way so your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own benefit and for those around me. This is your life's purpose. Archangel Michael, you know the details of my divine life purpose and I ask you to help me be aligned with my goals. Please clearly guide my actions so that I'm taking the best steps to fully manifest my wonderful and meaningful career. You and your loved ones are safe. Everybody got this today. It feels like at least two of you. Three of you now. 
Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. Please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthful, happy life. All right, guys. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell so you can know when I upload. Take care.